Hi everyone, I'm Chef Angela Rose Capanna from Eat Your Heart Out Edibles. I'm a personal chef and I create custom meals for my clients. But now I wanna share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes from my kitchen to yours. And if you're hungry for more, make sure to click the subscribe link below. Hey everyone, welcome to my special Mother's Day edition of Cooking with me, Chef Angela from Eat Your Heart Out Edibles, and my own mother, Fancy Nancy. She's going to take the lead today. I'm going to take my apron off, and she is going to cook what I grew up eating, which is your gravy and meatballs. So go ahead, Nancy. You cook that much. This is my mother's recipe, and I'm Sunday. guessing her mother's recipe. And I make it every Sunday, and it's simple, and it's easy, and the kids all love it. So this is the basic recipe. And I'm gonna do the sauce first. What, it's sauce or gravy? Well, it's technically called sauce, but we call it gravy. But I don't know what you call it. Gravy or sauce, you have to let us know. I call it gravy, but I get in trouble, because I think, isn't that really what people think of brown? Yes. But we call it gravy here. Anyway, go ahead, make so your sauce I'm gravy. I'm going to make my sauce gravy. So the first thing you do is do a little bit of olive oil. Extra virgin? Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And then you put, oh, where's my celery? Sorry. Piece of celery in the bottom. Carrot. Just so you know, this is the recipe that I use that's on uh, my menu, so I learned it from my mama. And you put the carrot in because it takes the uh, the acidic taste out of the tomatoes. So if you don't have a carrot, you could just add a tablespoon of sugar. It does the same thing. Do you ever dice these up or you always put them whole? I always put them whole. Okay. And sometimes if I don't put meat in the gravy and I'm just making a marinara, you can bl blend them all up, all the vegetables up afterwards, and it makes it super tasty and healthy. Really tasty. Honestly, I think the reason that you don't cut it though, is, to be honest, you don't love cooking, you said. Is that your favorite thing? Mm -hmm. So if you don't have to dice, you're not going to, is my point. Right, but right. You, which you wouldn't. No, oh, so you never do. Because I know sometimes you I, want people dice everything up. Oh, I guess that's a good idea. If you're right. like, no, I'm just asking. I, this is exactly how I do it. I don't dice either. So you put all these in and you saute these just a little bit. You just let them saute just for a little bit. Like what? Two or three minutes? Yeah, like, honestly. Yeah, not like long. two or three minutes. And then I'll put this in. And then you put in two cans of crushed tomatoes. Oh my gosh, you know what's really funny? I always thought, you see how she does this with the water? I literally thought that was like the only way to make the sauce, but then you told me, what, why do you do it? To get off, because so much stays in the can. Or you said if you don't have enough, you would do it. No. No? Oh, I literally just didn't know. I always yeah, no. do it. I just, if you get, if you do this, you just get, I'll show you how thick it is. And then, there's a spoon. Mix this up. Put this a little lower. Okay. And then I put in a tablespoon of oregano, a tablespoon of basil, a tablespoon of garlic powder. I think this is a quarter teaspoon of I think it was three quarters of a teaspoon. Salt. Yeah, and a little, just a little bit of pepper to taste. And I never have ever measured any of my seasoning. So this morning I had to come down here and pretend I was putting it on there. And then measure it out. That's why she's hesitating. Because this is why I'm hesitating, because I have no idea what She just happen. pinches until she feels it's right. It's like that, that little quote that I love that I can't remember. Okay, so then you mix that and you let this simmer. And hold on, if sometimes the only thing I'll do different at this point, I'll add a little dash of red wine if I have it. I don't have to, but actually your Aunt Lynn told me that's what she did, so I started doing that as well. And then so you just let that 
simmer and then you wipe all the extra spaghetti stuff off of you. So you, don't know, you don't wear a white shirt when you're cooking. Yeah, I do it. But. So then I make the meatballs. And I'm just going to make the smallest amount that I, use, that I make. So this is a pound of ground beef. And then you put in one egg for each pound. Now hold on, let's pause here. What the, for the ground beef? Do you use oh yes, yeah, so don't get the best cut, like the sirloin. I think it's like the 83%. So you don't want the 97.3, which is right. super lean. She want the 83% lean. It just makes them more tender. So you want a little bit of fat in there. And you just use ground beef. We don't you don't typically do like beef, veal. I have, but this is just the basic simple. This is what she makes. This is what everyone requests growing up is like my mom's meatballs. This is it guys. This is the secret. So let me see what did I do? Because I don't know again. This is the meatballs. This is a table with a teaspoon. Now it's only a teaspoon because this is you're supposed to act like you know what you're doing. Well I don't because I don't measure things. Okay. This is a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion powder. Oh, the first time I ever made this with you, do you remember how you, when you yelled at me? Because what I added to it? Oh, oregano. Don't she ever add oregano, oregano or she'll get mad. Not to meatballs, it goes in the sauce. And then this is a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Parmesan Reggiano. And then a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Wait, you don't put basil? No, that goes in the sauce. Come on. I do basil, but anyway, I go ahead. And then I use my hands, and they're clean. And you don't mix them too much because they get gets, rubbery. Yeah, it makes them tough. You just want to kind of. And if they're not real sticky, I don't add breadcrumbs, but these are at all. So just add a little. So you just have to do that to to feel. You just have to so feel it. On, you have to feel it in your soul. <laughs> a little more. Yeah, I think that's good. So then here they are. So I guess you could say for people who don't know you what it's like. You can make meatball. Oh, that's your other big no-no. You have to be the right size meatball. She hates when people have big meatballs. <laughs> she hates big balls. She only likes little ones. <laughs> well, actually, what my mom would always tell me that when you were growing up, all your friends knew you were Italian, so they would invite you over for spaghetti and meatballs, but what would they do? My one friend's family put all like um, shredded up onions in the meatballs, so when you cut into them, I couldn't eat them, so I would take a bite and then get a glass of water and swallow it. Didn't you pretend you were sick once? And I pretended I, I was sick because they kept giving me more and more because they know Italian people eat a lot. So this is about the size of the meatball. I, I would say like the size of a golf ball. Yeah, but maybe I would say maybe a quarter of a cup you're gonna. And usually every pound you get ten meatballs. So what you want to do is just you know I usually would make twenty, so I would do two pounds. But for every pound, about 10 meatballs. You're going to get does, 10 meatballs. That's yeah. pretty good. And then if you want to just make meatballs, you could put 20 or 30 meatballs just in those two cans. So the sauce, sauce is enough. That's for... enough sauce if you're just making like meatball sandwiches. But the two cans in this would be enough to put over pasta. So, what's it? What's your favorite, favorite pasta? pasta? I like angel hair. Angel hair. And what's your favorite? I think I like Fred, like a thicker, chewy kind we were saying last night. Like, you hate spaghetti. I don't like plain old spaghetti. No. Well, I like fresh pasta the best. Hmm. We're making more than 10 here. <sighs> Just throw them on the floor. Might be a little bit smaller. Wait, what one. happened to that one? That one might be a little small, so we'll it's add some. Up. So this one, this one's a little small. I went to this one. So you said I've always liked to cook when I was little? You love to cook from when you were a little girl. I would make pizza. I make my mom's homemade pizza. And she would sit, I would put a little pan on a chair and she would roll put the pizza and make the pizza. And then she would cook with her roommate and she would cook well and I didn't even know it until I was they cook, We would make cookies. They made cookies and she knew how to scoop them out on the tray. And then when she was only around eight years old, she would make a full course breakfast for everybody with her two younger brother and sisters. But she didn't want it with scrambled eggs in her hair at one time. <laughs> I've always been a mess. So then you pop these in the oven, which... Well, actually... I'm gonna take out my other food. And um, maybe cook these for So what do you tell them when you put your oven on my I put out. my oven at 350. And maybe cook these for maybe 12 to 15 minutes. You just want them a little bit brown. And then when they come out, you pop them in the sauce. And they can simmer maybe for 40 minutes, or you can pretend you're a really true blooded Italian and let them simmer all day. Yes. I bought a pot of water to boil. And I add
adding salt, and I'm going to add, what did I get? Linguini Fini. So it's thin linguini. And this cooks for six minutes. Okay, now the pasta is finished cooking, so I'm just going to make a plate. We had this every single Sunday growing up, or raviolis. Yeah, raviolis are a big hit. Christina, my younger sister, love raviolis. Here, you want extra sauce? And she would sprinkle probably three tablespoons of cheese on each bite. Now as an adult, I like crushed red pepper on flakes on top. Forget the cheese. Always have to put cheese. And that's our Sunday dinner. Mamma mia, looks so mm. good.